Ooh, good morning. Good morning. Let me get this. Let me get this all the way together and welcome you in here. Good morning. All right. This is going to stretch you. This is going to stretch you. This is going to stretch you. Come in and say, I'll be stretched. I'll be stretched. Stretch me. We're already, we're coming right in, speaking, high-fiving each other, put in the chat, stretch me, stretch me, stretch me, stretch me, because this is going to stretch you, um, but maybe not too much. Well, maybe not too much. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you see this, whenever you're here. Thank you, Anastasia. <laughs> whenever you see this, i got to tell you, thank you. For being you. My guides, my ancestors have been turning me every which way but loose, y'all. And I love it. I love it. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you a little. I'm going to talk to you about something that is, um, uh, it, it might seem mythical and even fantastical to you. But I promise you, you are here because you're going to get this. And this is going to stretch you in a good way. <laughs> I don't want to be stretched. You know what I mean. You know. But this is going to stretch you. First, uh, I want to say hi to Carvita, who's the best dog on moderator this side of glory. But thank you for being here and keeping that chat so lit and uh, responding when I say, oh, that was good. Follow, just follow whatever Carvita puts in. If she puts in a phrase, then you put in the phrase too and amplify. She said it, put it, put your energy in the chat. So she keeps the, she's like the chick, 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 chick. Now that almost sounded like the shaft theme. I, I wasn't trying to do shaft. I was trying to do it, a train, a train, chick, 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 you know, keeping something running like that because it's a rhythm. So y'all probably already got the rhythm, but today is going to be a little fantastical. It's going to be amazing. Um, it's about love. Um, it's about pain. It's about reciprocity. It's about restitution. It's about redemption. It's about renewal of vowels. Vowels. V-O-W-S. I know it sounds like I'm saying vowels, but <laughs> I'm saying vowels. Ow. Ow! Are the letters O, W, maybe initials and significant. And also, ow! Somebody does that. Somebody's auntie is on front, on the other side. It's like, ow! I don't know. I, I just, you know, I keep saying it. Maybe I'll be saying it all throughout the read. And every time I say it, you'll, you'll just get a little jolt mm, in your system. Mm, your light body's just like, yes. So I want to just first um, welcome the ancestors. I want to welcome your people, your ancestors, your benevolent ancestors that help you from the other side. My name is Yolanda, but I call myself the Divine Maverick because I love all things spiritual. So I I come from a lot of places, but I know there's one source. So you are going to be happy. You're going to be healed. You are going to be centered. <laughs> You're going to be entertained, maybe even. We're going to laugh. We're going to cry. We're going to hurl. I don't know. You may have to use the restroom. Do all of that because I have an anointing that follows me to heal people. I am a healer. You feel better once you have been in my presence. And if you don't feel better, that's because, well, we know you're not, you're, you know, you're not, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's all energy and vibration. So if you are here, you you are destined for this moment. And so let's get right to it. Uh, the movie Joe Black, Meet Joe Black, starring Brad Pitt and Claire. Claire might be a name, a sink. All those names, Pitt, Brad, Claire. La Luna just came to me as well, too. But um, uh, I, I believe the actress's name was Claire, or maybe that was her character's name. But the point is... He was actually the, he, he was the embodiment of death. So the spirit of death came to earth, you know, and needed a body. And so it just so happened a day she was in a coffee shop. She met this young man that kind of be, I just heard bewitched, bedazzled her. Um, they both had, it was an instant connection. And um, 
they traded numbers or something like that. And then if you haven't seen the movie, watch the movie. I, I'm got, I got to give you the synopsis, but to, to under, for you to understand what I'm saying. But in a nutshell, let's just say spirit of death, the spirit needed a body and that spirit used that man's body. Okay. He used the man's body that the, the Claire or the woman met in the coffee shop. All right. Later, he, he shows up in her life, but he's really there because it's time for her father to transition. So death came to get her father. Like I said, watch the movie. But that is the basis of what I'm going to say to you because, and I know that my client will not mind me sharing this part because she knows me, um, because it helps other people. But she recently uh, just lost her twin flame. He passed away um, in, in an accident. And, um, and I instantly knew, and of course, you know, there's sadness, there's the, there's grief there. And it's like, now what, you know what I mean? But I, I knew I, I very much had a peace in my heart that, that he had a contract and he, his contract was finished here because he decided he, he could not be who she needed him to be, or he needed to be for himself in this lifetime. So he's, he ended this, this lifetime and he will return. I just heard Silk. We will return. I'm gonna come back to you. I'm gonna come back to you. It's something like that. It's, but but re the return, I believe it's called, but it's Silk is the group. I know it's Silk, an R&B group. Um, but, but this, uh, this, this man, her divine masculine, um, he will return. He is coming back. I'm coming back just to give you my love. So he's coming back and, and I don't, and that part right there, this is where, this is what's going to stretch you. This is what's going to stretch you because, um, I don't know how that's going to happen, but I do know that someone is going to show up in her life. Someone new is is going to show up in her life. Now, if you this is not this message is not for you to start thinking, "Oh, my divine masculine may may leave." Don't know. But if you are still here listening to what I'm saying, then I know that you're going to get something, you're going to get what you need out of it, even if it's even if it's just for you to have enough faith to understand or understand that this journey that I'm on is wild and not a lot of people do it or can handle it or can even understand it. But I know what I know. I know I'm not crazy. You know what I mean? I know I'm not, you fill in the blank with the thing that you say, right? So this may just encourage you because I'm telling you it's otherworldly. This is, this is not your run of the mill. I feel like I got hair or something. Yeah, see? You see how I was like, mm, I, mm, this is what this is like being on this journey. You're trying to focus on something, but something keeps, mm, and that's the healing part. That's the healing part. That hair in your lipstick, that hair in your lip gloss, mm, 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 that's that healing. Because it, it, it makes you stop what you're doing. <laughs> it makes you stop what you're doing to tend to it. So, so let me get back on, um, on the highway. But, um, what was I saying? Something about the contract. I forgot what I was saying now because I was talking about the distraction and the journey. Yes. So this is going to help you understand that the journey is that. It's the healing journey. It's the healing journey. And so if your person does not, if does not unalives, you know, I, well, who am I, who am I scared of? If, if your person passes away, they die then that that simply means that they have they have to they they knew they knew remember everybody knows everybody knows beginning middle end alpha and omega so they know they knew and maybe perhaps could it be that they weren't supposed to be that person you see in your life but but what you gleaned or what you learned from them was invaluable because look who you have become or look who you are becoming because you were thrust into this relationship or you you collided with this person and your whole life changed so back to this the man that's contract his contract ended and he's coming back he's there is a person coming back and he actually uh channeled through me as i can yes i can connect with those on the other side it's just a, the veil is very very thin and i can just go to the veil and 
they start talking, right? But um, he said that it's, <laughs> it's like I know what you like, and 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 I'm gonna I'm telling you, I saw like somebody being picked for him. Uh, his spirit was picking like a a, a a suit, a suit. You know what I mean? A person. All right. I know. I know. This is gonna stretch you, but he was he picked. He's picking a person that she would be attracted to. And he was saying to her, go ahead and grieve, but open your heart because I'm coming back. Go ahead and grieve and open your heart because I'm coming back. I just heard that some of you all can apply this. You're like, well, I could just use this symbolically, right? When I'm saying, yes, you can use this symbolically even, which is I'm just talking yin and yang, I guess, because when I'm just talking, saying this actually happened because this actually happened in 3D. So now 3D is mirroring heaven and then heaven is mirroring the earth or you know what i mean so we got it we're we got we got the union and that's why we're here with this message on a day like today because this will stretch you beyond the norm it will stretch you beyond what's what's required of others this will stretch you but it will stretch you in a good way because the more the more capacity you you get the more you can receive i love this so so he is choosing someone that she would be attracted to. And here's how she will know him, okay? Because he is going to have many, many, if not all of the attributes of her person. She's going to know him by heart. Now think about your whole life. Think about everybody you meet and why you have that instant connection. Uh -huh. Could it be? You know what I mean? Isn't that what it really is? Reincarnation? Isn't that what it really is? We our spirits find a, a suit, a suit to get in and then finding our way back to heaven, being able to marry the two because you because your spirit wants to come down and experience. I know I am love but I want to experience it in a body and, and actually giving it to another person. So we incarnate in these bodies. But we know, but we're rest in ama. But we are eternal beings. We live forever. We are energy. We cannot be destroyed. So we just continue to go. And the higher your vibration, the stronger, greater your energy is. And the more times you can come back or not. You see? Because you just have to run the gauntlet that we call life down here to reconnect with your divine self. Selemonia. And that's what this does. This love strips everything that you thought love was. You reimagine or reinvent love because you inner, cylindrical, understand love because you have to become love. You have to become love to heal. Resistance or hate does not open and heal. It doesn't. It blocks. But you have, so you have to love more. You have to love higher. You have to love deeper. Yeah? In order to heal from anything. You have to Forgiveness is not for them, it's for us. You have to love deeper. You have to love higher. Is it don't mind you get? You see? So, why did I say that? Yes. So, if you were closed off, you would miss something that was meant for you because the packaging or the the um, something wasn't right. You know, it wasn't that thing. But when you recognize love for what love is, it's easy, it's effortless, and it's very healing. It's very healing, right? So... Wow, it felt like the, the message kind of went another direction, but or maybe it didn't. You know, I'm just I'm just speaking with you. But I feel like um there was something I wanted something else I wanted to say. Yes. So death uh fell in love with the daughter of the man that he came to take back with him, who was played but the father was played by Anthony Hopkins, but in like the finale scene uh, death, the man and, uh, the father go walking off into the distance and intuitively, you know, as the camera pans back to the daughter watching this happen, you know, that she knows 
this is it. She hugs her dad because it's his birthday. They're at this, this huge birthday party of his. And she hugs him as if she knows that's it. And she's watching him walk away with that the man that she loves, you know, that she really, you know, wants to be with. And um, when he comes back, the man that she wants to be with, her, the father is not with him. But he comes back as if to see her for the first time. As if he's seen her for the first time. And, and we as the viewer knows that this is the first time he's seen. Well, you know, he's seeing her now as who he is. Who he is. So death gave the man his body back, in other words. He used that spirit used his body for a moment and then gave him back. Where was his spirit in the meantime? I don't know. Maybe even playing in Aruba or or being a infant somewhere. Maybe it was a baby, because that would explain why it would not that we need an explanation, but this is what I'm hearing when you have children that that are small infants or or you know just months old babies that that pass away suddenly you know one minute they're here one minute they're not could it be stuff like that the entities just moving around I'm just saying I'm just saying I told you today this is gonna stretch you but could that what could that be what it is they use baby they want to come here and want to be here but then they go oh can't be here gotta go I don't know that's what I'm saying. But, but think about it. Think about it. Because you are stepping into a realm. There's a whole new chapter for you in your life, in your world. And you're stepping into a realm where you have to move outside of what you thought was normal. You know what I mean? What you used to call horror or paranormal or, or witchcraft or evil. You know, evil. That is right. You know, because sometimes we say things that are evil are good and things that are good are evil. You know how you know how we say that. Yin and yang, of course, because you, you can't have one without the other because that's what the balance of the universe is. They have to exist. They have to coexist. They have to. They must, right? So anyway, I just heard I chose this. I said, oh, no. So I'm reminding you that you chose this. So so no matter what you are dealing with, if it's a the natural death, like in 3D, you, you lost the one you thought was the one Please stay open because they are coming back. They will return to you, when, but they won't return until you are ready to receive you because you have to learn to recognize them by spirit, by heart. You have to learn to recognize them by heart. And that reminds me, there is another message that I also need to do. I might come back with that. It has something to do with the story of Adam and Eve and Adam being put to sleep and yeah, I'll talk, I'll talk, I'll talk about that another time. I'm sorry. I just, it just came to me. It's like, I got to do that. All right. So, um, I just, I just lost my train of thought. What, since I did that, because they want me to write it down, give me a minute while I'm doing that. Y'all just breathe and soak in all this good energy. Mm. So I did take a few notes before I came on when I was meditating and I'll um, read that just a few notes um, I heard they're making house calls now all right so somebody is I already said the stretching beyond the norm or they're breaking the rules whatever the rules were but um, I was given a, an example of uh, well I saw a vision and it was uh, during the time of COVID and you know we were supposed to we the rules were stay away from each other but it was like a doctor. It was like a, a, a doctor with he had a medicine bag, like an old, old school medicine bag and everything. And he was just walking around like neighborhoods and he was making house calls in, in spite of what was going on. So it's something, it's, it's a message like that. Uh, when, when you, when you stretch beyond your boundaries or stretch beyond your norm, um, just know that what they said you couldn't do or what they said you shouldn't do or what they said you uh, wouldn't do, you're going to be doing, you know, and this experience that you're having with this other person or these, these life changing modes, right, is mm -mm 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 -mm. it's so worth it. It's so worth it. Okay, I'll leave it right there. I'll leave it right there. Harvita, were we clear? Were we clear? We will return. I keep hearing that song playing in my... Oh, it's still playing. We will return. 
Does does this resonate? I mean, I know I can see y'all are on here, but does anybody want to say before I get off? Um, does anybody who did somebody lose somebody? You know, or you or do we actually have somebody in the chat or watching the stream that has is experiencing this right now? Like I know that this person is so and so to me or something. You know what I mean? Like you you're experiencing it right now. Thank you, Carvina. You released your twin flame. Okay. So, I mean, literally, I, I mean, literally, they're gone. Okay, Maria is. All right. Specifically, anybody that's like, I met someone new, but they are the soul. They feel like the soul of my person. Yes. Okay, cool. So thank you. These y'all feel like I'm just hearing these are the witnesses. These are the witnesses. These are the witnesses. Look at these witnesses. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. So y'all get that movie. And it's okay, right? Because this this will expand what you believe love to be, right? You even sometimes call him his name. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you, Maria, for saying that. That is so powerful. That is so powerful. And see, and this is why stuff like this is why we don't waste our time being petty. We ain't got we ain't got time for petty petty boots. We don't. We don't. It's too much. The the, the scheme is too grand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, by the way, y'all are wearing my Starseed t-shirt. I'm not from here. It's on my website, thedivinemary.com. I forgot I was wearing my t-shirt. Starseed, Starseed's out there. Y'all get this shirt. Um, Divine Feminine, I was going to pull a card for you from the, um, why is this deck? Uh, from the Island Time Wellness. I like these cards. And I have identical decks, one in pink and one in black. The Divine Masculine is my black deck. Haven't met anyone yet. My fiance, losing my fiance to COVID, but you'll be opening your heart. Wonderful. Okay. He said that book. Now, that you're they're going to let you know they're going to let you know they're returning all right i'm not i'm I'm saying you're going to also know this many of you are the runner okay and many of you are the runners and you've had to learn you had to really you were and you were stubborn too you thought you were um the one chase like chasing after love or missing out on love but you were actually running from the very thing you wanted you know what i mean you know what i mean by that but i feel that anointing i feel that healing energy right now all right but uh you that there was actually you craved intimacy but you had a fear of it mhm mm mhm mm and like i said very stubborn listening to the ego the ego fears but yeah you're going to you have to learn how to trust your intuition and you and I feel like you went through many, many lessons. I'm hearing valiant warrior, valiant warrior. Okay, clock. This um take taking time to heal cycles. I said valiant warrior. You went through went meant through. Yeah, that too. Many, many cycles. The clock is here. You may have a clock on your wall, or I hear I'm hearing the clock is ticking. Time is ticking. I'm also hearing it's time for making progress, or it's time to time for progress progress time. And I'm also hearing progress report. So some of y'all are going to be going to be getting a favorable progress report uh, as well. All right. Favorable progress report, um, especially if it has to do with your kindergartner. All right. Also spending time with friends. Some of your friends are going to give you a favorable progress report. And, and so you're going to be spending time with them. Some of you are going to be moving on and moving out. Some of you are living happily single, finally free. Um, some of you will be living in, in the moment and having fun. That's all I want to do. Talk to your girls or talk to talk to your girls or girl talk and simply having fun. All right. All right. Do you trust Barry? I don't know. Do you? <laughs> I don't know. Do you? If you are tr asking me that, then. All right. See what your intuition has been telling you to do. Your intuition has been telling you to talk more, converse with other people more. Some of you, your intuition has been telling you that there's a message you've been waiting for. It's definitely going to be arriving. I don't know. Let me see the first number that I see. Shabbat is seven days, six days. Also, maybe even 13 days. So there's a text, a call, or an email from somebody that's been uh, watching you or hovering around you or over you, I'm hearing, hovering over you. But they're going to send something in writing. 
something you're going to be getting in writing. Some of you are going to be getting separation papers or more papers because the relationship is definitely over. Um, there are no second chances. It's time for you to grow and transform your life. All right. I feel like I'm doing like the, the news updates. <laughs> That'd be cute. That's what I do. Also, yeah, that'll be good. So also, um, Cupid's arrow. You, you need to have some faith because love is coming. There's a surprise invitation happening or a meeting or some sort of hesitation, something about a contract. You're hesitating on signing the contract. You're hesitating on committing to the contract, something about a lease as well. Maybe you need to hesitate on um, uh, a lease, uh, signing a lease and a, a lease. That's a, somebody's name as well. A lease. Elise, E-L-I-S-E -E is how I'm seeing it, all right? Now, I just heard the actress name, Elise Neal. Neal might be somebody saying, Neal has some clarity, finally. Neal be speaking the truth. Um, also, Elise might be revealing something that needed clarity, and now the truth is out, and there's um, going to be some solidarity. If you wanted to join up or gang up <laughs> with someone or on someone, about someone, it looks like that might be happening for you. Also, uh, take it, the violent, uh, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violent and violence and the violent take it by force, but there's something you need to be more forceful about. I didn't say go in there and knock over the uh, table and, and, and spill all the um, llama beans out the can. What? But uh, you need to be a little more forceful. Also, it's going to make you uh, seem honorable. It's going to bring your honor back. Somebody feels dishonored or feels like they're losing their honor. Okay. Or somebody might be saying your honor. Okay. Um, something about a peace order and a peace protection or, or protection, peace and protection, protection for peace. All right. Protection for peace, protection for peace. Mm, I don't know what that is, but um, you may even be watching the series power. That might have something to do with it. Did I already say half faith love is coming? Did I say that already? If I didn't, I'm saying it now. All right. Those are some channel messages. And now I just got a little idea. So I got an idea. So I'm going to uh, do that now. Y'all, I, I appreciate y'all for being here. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you uh, stretched a little bit beyond and you can believe for more and go out and uh, shine your light. Until we meet again, take care of yourselves and each other. If you need anything from me, my website is thedivinemaverick.com. And I would love to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. I do that. I enjoy that very much. Um, we're just going to have a conversation like two old friends because we've known each other somewhere some at some time. Trust and believe. Good to see you again. Anyway, <laughs> um, I appreciate y'all being here. Um, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye. Thank you, Carvita.